Hello guys and welcome to my fourth video tutorial on uh, JavaScript. In this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use prompts. Okay, So let's open Notepad and to make our first prompt let's type prompts parenthesis and inside the parenthesis let's type some text. Okay, Remember to type some text you had to put it uh, between double tags double quotes sorry um, let's write what is your oops what is your name save this okay let's run this in Chrome and there it is okay a box popped up with something uh, some um, input here where we can type whatever we want and see that the text that we typed uh, inside the um, the parenthesis is here what is your name okay so let's type here Victor we click OK and nothing happens okay to make the prompts useful we had to put uh, the prompts inside variables and we do that like this variable let's call it test equals and then equals the prompt itself okay so now what happens here uh, is whatever we type in the prompt in this case we will type our name um, whatever we type there it will be stored inside the variable test okay and then we can use or output variable test to see the the content okay so let's make an alert semicolon and an alert of the value of the variable test let's save this let's run this chrome what is your name victor and there it is okay an alert appears with my name or whatever I typed before in the prompt so you see that we use prompts to um, take some information or take whatever the user types and then um, output uh, in an alert or and we can make document write or whatever we, we want okay with that information so let's make more variables I'm gonna change instead of test I'm gonna change this to name and then I'm gonna uh, make another variable called age equals prompt what is your age and I'm gonna type another variable that will be band and I'm gonna type what is your favorite band and then I'm go I want to alert output uh, the name variable the age variable and the band variable okay each one uh, will have the value or whatever we typed in the prompt okay so I want to alert the name variable and to uh, output more than one variable we type plus age variable plus the band variable okay now we will have an alert with three variables um, the values of the three variables let's run this Chrome what is your name Victor what is your age? 30. Where is your favorite band? Nirvana. And there it is. Victor 30 Nirvana. Okay. So I want to put some space between Victor 30 and Nirvana. Or some commas. Okay. Let's make some commas here. Okay. 
now um we're gonna uh, we have the name variable then we have to type uh, plus and double quotes because we're gonna type a text and the text is only the comma itself okay then uh, plus again h and again after h plus a comma okay and the ban so let's save this let's uh, refresh this and now what is your name Victor age 30 Nirvana and there it is Victor comma 30 comma Nirvana okay so uh, let's make a more uh, complex complex uh, alert box with some more um, detailed uh, some more complex text so <coughs> I want a text saying in the alert box uh, your oops your name is space and plus and then my name will appear right and then uh, comma and here I will type your age is space plus H will be my age and then here let's type and and your favorite band is uh, whatever I type in the band okay prompt so let's run this uh, let's run this and my name is Victor my age is 30 and my favorite band is Nirvana and now text appears your name is Victor your age is 30 and your favorite band is Nirvana okay so you see how we can play with some um, prompts and use the prompts to uh, take some uh, some of information from the user okay or whatever the user types and uh, we use that to then output some answer that we want okay some um, some information okay with values that the user gave us before so you can play more with this uh, this examples okay you can make more variables if you want and change the alert box with another type of text or whatever okay and remember that the code reads every uh, line but uh, always in order okay so you remember that first appears uh, the name Okay, then appears age. Okay, so JavaScript reads always the code, and not only JavaScript. Uh, general programming languages reads uh, the code in order. Okay, first line, second line, blah 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 blah. Okay, it doesn't read first the variable ban and then the variable name and then alert and then comes back to the age. Okay, it doesn't read like that. It's always in order. Okay, line by line so you can play with the code a little bit more on your own okay and develop more uh, skills okay using this uh, examples so this is all for this video and if you have any questions just send me a message and uh, don't forget to subscribe so see you guys later and have a nice day bye